Well, the first project that I started releasing um, music under was Four Saints, which um, kind of started out as freak folk, kind of just catch all, you know, no real rules about what could be done. Of course, there were individual songs that I had recorded under that um, project that I'm like, I, I like doing that. <laughs> so I, you know, maybe, um, maybe I'd like to um, release some more things that are just that. Mm -hmm. um, I think Stock in Misery was the first song on one of the, uh, the first Four Saints album that made me start kind of playing with the idea of doing like a Demons on Wheels thing, which is another project that I ended up starting, um, which was more kind of the garage rock. Um, of course, one of my old bands was Tin Ghost, which was a, a fully formed working band once upon a time, um, which is very folk oriented. So it's kind of, I think when you go back and listen to maybe some of the early Four Saints, mm -hmm. you'll hear things and be like, that's that, like, that sounds like a Demons on Wheels song, or that sounds like a Tin Ghost. And I mean, one of the reasons why I just release them under different names is just because they do have these different feels to them. Um, but I have started releasing some things under my name, basically just like, like free improv guitar type stuff. And then I've been releasing some of the old, um, just I used to do a lot of computer music programming and things like that, the long form composition that I've started releasing lately too, so. So I added a guitar part to it. And then a second guitar part. So this is this is my recorder. It's uh, just eight channels. Um, I did on earlier albums. You can you can bounce tracks and consolidate things and add more tracks. But I really just I like working with what with what I have. Signal path goes through all these things, um, all these different pedals and stuff here. Um, these are vocal processors um, which run through there. I just plug in plug in whatever I need. So. Most, most of my, my drumming comes from these two devices. <laughs> um, this has um, a, a set of built-in rhythms and stuff in it, as well as this one. Um, and I supplement it, of course, with, with um, live drumming here um, in cymbals and things like that to kind of fill it out. So I have a whole bunch of crazy little electronic toys that I love to play with um, that I use mostly for, like, uh, for Saint stuff, six oscillator synthesizer, the Wobulator. This thing's handmade from a guy in Chicago. Uh, this is yeah, this is a Mabira. This is a thumb piano. I actually have several of these. This is just the only one I had out recently. Um, but yeah, it's a African instrument. Um, the Valiha, which is actually my most favorite instrument in the world. That's from Madagascar. Um, this is a an Oriental. They call it a, a banjo, a peacock harp. But yeah, that's super fun. Um, tro these tros, I believe, are from Indonesia. Back here, they use a bow on those. You know, is if I can get my hands on it, and I'll try to make a sound out of it. You know, no matter what it is, if it's a piece of metal or else a, some sort of guitar. Um, so yeah, when it's time to record um, keyboard parts, it's kind of funny. I have a foot pedal down here that stops and starts the recording. So oftentimes I'm doing like the octopus thing where I'm like having to kick it in and like reach over here and play at the same time. So I feel like I'm doing like the Rick Wakeman or something. Well, let's just say since the pandemic, I believe I've put out nine albums. At the start of the pandemic, I think I, I think it was my 20th album that I was putting out in uh, my next one's going to be my 30th, which is sort of strange. But um, yeah, the, the last f Tin Ghost album, which is Galleons of Time, um, had 20 songs on it and I believe I recorded it from start like very first note 
to mixed and mastered and released in 50 days. Basically, if I'm working on a project, it's it's like, okay, I think I'm going to record. Mm -hmm. um, and I very rarely ever have anything in mind of what I'm actually going to do. There have been a couple times where I'll be like, yeah, I probably need more of kind of a slower, so or like I need something that's a little bit faster paced than the other stuff I've been recording. So I might work from that kind of a premise, but nothing ever said as far as um, chord structures or anything like that. And I don't do anything post-production um, as far as effects. So while I'm recording, I'm pretty much thinking kind of final product already because I don't add effects later. So if I know I'm going to want like a distorted vocal, I record it as a distorted vocal or as a distorted drum part or whatever. There's I've, I've toyed with the idea of trying to put a band together um, at some point to perform Demons on Wheels music because I think that'd probably be, of the projects besides Tin Ghost, would probably be the easiest. I think it's just, I don't know, it's a matter of time and, you know, being able to find the people and I'd have to relearn the songs myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the songs usually get extended <laughs> for like internet play. <laughs>